YouTube. What's going on? It's your boy JJ back with another video. And I know I've been gone for a long time. I've been busy. As you may or may not know, I did just graduate from college from the Prairie View A&M University with my bachelor's in science and psychology. So I haven't been a I've been a busy man. But we back on the grind. We going back on YouTube. We finna go up, go crazy coming into 2022. And as you can see, you see what I'm looking at right now. You see what's behind me? Got some, you know, make some new content with. You know, that's my dream car. If you didn't know, I've been wanting the Mustang GT for the longest time since I was like in high school. I just graduated college. It's been my dream car. So you see it behind me. Um, but it's a little dirty right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take it, get it washed, and just show y'all around the car and stuff like that and show y'all my new baby. So uh, I'm not going to get a cold start right now because it's not cold, but I'm going to insert one from a few days ago that I recorded. And uh, y'all just sit back and be ready to be entertained. Let's get it. Anyways, but I'm gonna show y'all a little montage, get y'all some nice views of the car, so let's get it.
so I'm gonna try to sit with the door propped open because it's a little windy outside. But as you can see, I do have my Mustang. So I'll give y'all the exact specs. It is a 2019 Mustang GT. Um, I believe this is the premium since it has the uh, big screen in the uh, for the info, info, infotainment screen. Um, six speed manual. I believe this is a 2019, so I believe it comes with 206. Ooh, not 200. Me, double that. Uh, 460 horsepower. See, I'm not even used to it. I'm still not used to that much power yet. 460 horsepower and 420 pound feet of torque, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, like I said, six speed manual. Uh, and as you can see, I'm in love. I'm really in love. It's y'all, like I said, if y'all know, yo, you too. So I'm sitting here editing my video and I'm listening to myself talk. And the problem is I can't hear myself talk because it is wind noise in this video. So I'm just going to go over what I couldn't uh, put on this video because it's too loud. The wind is too loud. And yes, ghetto. But anyways, basically all I was saying was about how I got the car. Uh, basically a few days before me and my mom were talking about uh, the car, getting new cars. And of course I wanted a Mustang. I always look for Mustangs first. And I saw this car on, on car gurus. I was on car roof is a great website to use plug for car roofs for sure. Um, and it was the only Mustang that I saw on there that was under a great deal because you know, car roofs usually uh, rates the deals as a great deal, good deal, fair deal, which is the middle one, and then bad deal. Um, this Mustang was the only one under great deals that I saw. Um, for under eight, under 10,000 miles and for only 36,000 was a great deal in 2019. Perfect. So uh, my mom got in contact with the car salesman at the dealership and, um, they've been texting, but they started texting the day before graduation. And then he was texting her on the day of graduation and saying that some people were coming to look at the car and, uh, but we couldn't cause I, we couldn't come look at it cause I was at graduation. So after graduation, uh, we went out to eat and then she texted the guy again and she asked him, was it still there? And he was like, yeah, it's still here. So after we ate, um, we went there, looked at it and got it. Got a great interest rate. Had my trade in, you know, unfortunately I did trade in my blue Honda Civic Si, uh, RIP. Well, it's not dead, but anyways, um, traded in. So got like 4,000. Plus from that trade in, so I was able to put that on a 36. So it came in, the Mustang came out around probably like 32, 33,000 uh, after everything, which is really good. Great deal for under 8,000 miles, a little bit over 8,000 miles. Great deal. And as you can tell by the video, I'm in love with the car. I'm still in love. I just filled it up with gas. That's the only thing. The gas is treacherous. But other than that, I'm in love with the car. Um, and yeah, you'll see that in the rest of the video. So I'ma hand it back to that Jalen. So Alrighty. Roars to life. Uh you see you got the nice green. I definitely wanted this green. So a lot of the cars that I was looking at for the Oh my goodness. Don't want to get copyrighted. Um let me just pause that. Yeah, you see that Chrisette Michelle. Y'all might not know about that one. But anyways, so a lot of the Mustang with the uh, V8s, the GTs, they either came with the automatic with the with the big screen, and had the manual with the um with the small little keypad, and I definitely didn't want that. So when I saw that this one had the six speed and the big screen, I was like, yeah, I have to jump on that because this is exactly the way I wanted it. So yeah, um, as you can see, I only have nine thousand two hundred and sixteen miles. The only thing that kind of threw me off was the interior color. It was kind of off. I was like, why is it this color? But it's still leather. I, I still love it. It's, it's, it's comfortable. You see heated and cooled. Got all my controls right here. Apple CarPlay, as you can see, I have my hazard lights, traction, uh, steering modes, and driving modes. So I'll flip through the driving modes for you. I have normal, sport, plus, track which i do not use because you can see it turns that traction off yeah i'm not using that yet i have drag strip which ooh, i don't even want to i don't even want to know what that does and then we have snow and wet 
So I usually keep it in sport because it dries the best in there. Um, it's not nighttime, so you can't see it without, of course, um, at nighttime, it has the ambient lighting on the doors and uh, for the feet. And yeah, it's a pretty comfortable car. I, I'm in love. You see, I put my radar in already because I promise you, I've been driving it for two weeks and every other V8 that sees me wants to race me. I'll let y'all hit that exhaust a little bit from the outside. I believe that whoever had it before me either straight piped it or something because it is not this loud stock. And when I started it up for the first time, test driving it, I was like, yeah, that's not stock. So the uh, car salesman told me that he thinks that it was straight piped. I'm gonna take it to my uh, muffler shop and see what they say about it because since it is altered, it won't let me um, switch between the exhaust modes. It has different exhaust modes, like and loud and quiet and all that kind of stuff. But it won't let me switch because it's altered already. It's been modified already. So I'm going to see what that's about once I take it to my uh, muffler shop, an exhaust shop. But I'm in love, y'all. This is this is what I wanted. So I cannot complain at all. I mean, at all. It's got a fresh wash. The back window is tinted and it is very dark. I mean, I cannot see out of that at night. So I'm gonna get my tent redone and stuff like that. Get this front uh, windshield tinted and my side mirror, side mirror, side windows tinted. But other than that, it doesn't really need anything. The only thing I really do want, let me show y'all, of course. So the GTs come with this small little wing, little wing spoiler, whatever you wanna call it. I can't remember the correct terminology, I think wing. And so I think this is a spoiler. Anyways, so this comes with the stock spoiler. I want the spoiler with the that comes with the performance pack. I'm gonna uh, show up a pop up picture right here of what I'm talking about. The performance pack comes with that tall wing. That's what I want. That's the first. That's really the first thing I want to do because I love that wing. It gives you that sporty look that I want. But other than that, I mean, what what do I need to do? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. This is my first V8. This is my first Mustang. I've always had Hondas. So y'all let me know what, what y'all want to see me do to the car. Um, I'm definitely a little tired. Look like you need some air. Some air. But anyways, of course I need wider tires. I want some different tires and wheels. I hate these. The only thing I hate is these. I mean they're not even that ugly, but these stock wheels I hate them. Definitely want some new wheels. And of course, when new wheels come with new tires. Cause I want some wider tires. It's not wide enough for me. I want that wide stance. I think I'm gonna do that stagger stance with some wider tires on the back and um, the same ones on the front. But uh, yeah, I am in love, y'all. I mean, the color, the color is just popping. I'm seeing as I watched it today, that gray is just popping. Help me name it. So I'm coming up with some names. You know, I like to name my cars. I think I might name this one Storm. I think Storm is gonna be so hard. Storm, like that's so hard. Of course, I need to get my my Instagram and YouTube back on my windows so that I can promote, you know, shameless plug, all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm in love, y'all. Sooner or later, I'm gonna learn how to do this. Uh, like I said, I'm not used to driving a V8 yet, so I, I, I don't wanna be swinging it because I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing. And y'all know how Mustang, drivers crash their cars and i'm not gonna be part of that number so i need to go see if i have my cord here because i can't charge my gopro because i left my uh, charger and i can't so that's why i can't even get any pov driving today but um i'm definitely gonna get something in the, in the, in the future so y'all let me know what y'all want to see let me know what i should do to the car let me know what mods i should do I, like i said i never modded a v8 before i've only been doing four cylinders so let me know what i should do with headers cams that's what i keep hearing intake tune of course that's what with every car uh i feel like modern but let me know what i should do um i'm gonna get a couple revs in for y'all so y'all can hear it and then i'm gonna wrap it up there
So as you can see, the car is immensely louder than it would be stock. And I'm satisfied with the sound. Everybody's asking me what I want to do to the car and what I'm, the modifications I'm not going to do. I mean, honestly, I'm good with the car right now. Like I said, I'm still trying to get used to this power. I've never driven a car with this much power. So I'm trying to get used to having that much just available torque right off the bat and um, stuff like that. So I'm cool on modifications right now. Of course, in the future, I'm going to do some stuff to it. Of course, right now, I want to do some aesthetic stuff to it. So once I start working again, um, I will be doing some stuff to the car like i said let me know what i'm what i should do because i've never modded a car like this i'm finally part of the va groups the mustang groups you know i'm finally i'm finally there i'm finally there so uh, i'm happy to be here i'm happy and so blessed i just feel so blessed immensely blessed with uh this opportunity to get this car and stuff like that so yeah that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for coming along and like I said, 2022 is going to be a great year for YouTube. Um, I had a great year this year, actually. I'm going to pop up another picture here of some of the stats that they sent me. I had a great year uh, for YouTube this year, and I'm, I'm, I'm definitely thankful for that. Thank, definitely thankful for all of my viewers, all of my watchers, all of my supporters. Thank you guys so much. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep pushing. 2022 is going to go up even further, even further, even harder. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, let me know what I should do to the car. And uh, drop some comments if you like the Mustang. If I should have got a Camaro, <coughs> excuse me. If I should have got a Camaro or a Challenger, a Charger, let me know. Just let me know what, what y'all think. What y'all think of the car? What should I do to the car? Should I get it wrapped? Whatever. Just, just, just put it down below. And make sure you drop a like and share with a friend. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.